we should not expect that people will be consistent just because they have a, a, a thing that they make their entire career doesn't mean that they're going to be serious about it, act in good faith. Um, and actually, it's like the, you know, the, the QAnon people uh, with Jeffrey Epstein, they don't, they don't care. It's like they talk all day long about the fact that there's this elite network of pedophiles. And when one is actually revealed, they're suddenly not interested anymore. Um, right. And so, that Trump was BFFs with him and et cetera. Exactly. Or Bill Clinton had both attacked sure. both, honestly. Um, you think there's a swamp? Evidently there was, but it doesn't seem to bother you. For free speech, it's the same thing. It's there are these people, you know, whether it's the intellectual dark web or Glenn Greenwald or whatever, that like will say day after day, I'm against censorship, like what yeah. you're trying to do with Spotify. And then in his case, like like people like Dave Rubin, I'm not even gonna like pretend that he's gonna be consistent and actually call out actual censorship. But um, in his most recent uh, Substack or whatever, oh god, Glenn, Glenn Greenwald said, um, liberals often point to the growing fights over public school curricula and particularly the conservative campaign to exclude so-called critical race theory from the public schools as proof that the American right is also a pro-censorship faction. That is a poor example. Censorship is about what adults can hear, not what children are taught in public schools. <laughs> what? So if a private company decides we don't want our brand to be damaged by having this person who is breaking our long published public terms of service, right. that is censorship. If a lib liked that they did that. But if a political party literally bans people from understanding history, those are just kids. Kids don't have rights or whatever. I'm it's just amazing so sick of the whole thing that I used to think he was smart because, like, I would think, I mean, and maybe I wouldn't be good at being a right wing grifter. I know I wouldn't. You know, I would look terrible as a blonde. But you know, I I'd like to think I would have smarter arguments. But you, he really just like reveals himself when it's like, well, it's not the same because kids are different. And you're like, it's just not a good point. That is a terrible <laughs> point. What do you mean? Like in what? Ah! And this is this is like an after a week where, the, first of all, Holocaust Mem Remembrance Week, and uh, the comic book Mouse, which discusses the Holocaust, yep. is prohibited and banned in schools. Like, are you yeah, kidding me? No, no, but that's not a good example because uh, censorship isn't of cartoons. <laughs> I don't know. Exactly. Is that good apply. enough? Can I get yeah. a Substack now? What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.